Hi, this is Travis with POSkies.com. Today we're doing a receipt printer primer. There's two main types of receipt printers. There's the older impact receipt printer, which uses ribbon, and the newer high-speed thermal receipt printers that uses thermal transfer paper instead of using ribbon. Uh, both of these can do dual colors, though thermal is primarily just a single color black. You need a very special paper to do dual colors. You also need a printer ca capable of doing dual colors. This is the impact receipt printer. This was your older type of receipt printer. These two are older receipt printers themselves. Instead of using the most common drop and loading, it uses a take up section. So you actually have to mount the paper into this holder here and then feed it through the printer. This is set up in the same way. Newer receipt printers use drop in loading. You pop in the top, drop in the receipt paper, close it and you're ready to go. Ribbons come in a few different colors. This is the red black option. There's also straight black and straight purple depending on your color needs. Uh, the disadvantage to impact printers is the sound on it. They are quite loud. If I run a print test on this guy, you're printing. Um, so they make a lot of noise. However, these are still the most common printers in the kitchen as that um, the paper isn't affected by heat. If you put a thermal paper under a heat lamp, sometimes it can turn black, making it a little hard to read. This won't be affected in the same way. Here are thermal receipt printers. This is the budget Epson TMT20 ready print. It prints at six inches per second and it has an auto cut. This is the faster Epson TMT885. It prints at about 12 inches per second. And again, it has an auto cut. Uh, a couple other models, this is the POSIX high speed and this is the Seiko Caliber. The Seiko Caliber is a bit smaller than the other models. It's a five inch square. This is your more traditional sized printer. Uh, the speed on the Caliber is comparable to the 88.5 or the POSIX high speed. It's just a smaller shell. Uh, looking at the interface for printers, the budget receipt printers tend to be wired in. So like this is a serial printer and all it can be is a serial printer. There's your serial port and that's how it is. If you look at the 88.5 or the POSIX high speed, the interface card is mounted via a couple of screws this card can pop out and then you can switch it from being, in this case, a USB interface to being a serial or a parallel. The POSIX is the same way. This card can be replaced so you can switch it to a different interface. Uh, additionally, there's a USB port built into both the POSIX high speed and the 885. So even if you bought a parallel today and you want to go to USB, you didn't have to change out the card, you can just plug in a USB cable. So these are the two most common types of receipt printers, your impact receipt printer which uses ribbon and your thermal receipt printer which uses thermal paper. Uh, they're available in USB serial and parallel. Uh, impact receipt printers are normally available with an ethernet interface as well. If you're going to be using it in your kitchen, uh, that will give you a longer range and you can put it away from your point of sale station. Uh, USB typically is the most common in thermal since it's right next to your point of sale station. Uh, for more information on all our receipt printers for to purchase, please visit our website at www.posguys.com.